Cavern's actual excavation site. All items are processed and transported to site 3 for evaluation and, ana and analysis. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome everyone back to the journey. We left off and going down this elevator and uh, down to the plasma gun. Plasma gun.
these assholes are there? Why's the door closed? Yeah, that's sensible though. That looks sensible. Which is a good team. It's a very good team, I would say. Rogers, lead archaeologist currently stationed on Mars. As the preliminary reports have suggested, we have made some amazing discoveries here on Mars. Life on Mars has long been theorized, but we never imagined anything like this. The initial chamber was discovered in 2115. It leads into what is now known as Site 1. Site 1 is the largest of the sites, and we are still actively working there. It is made up of a series of chambers and connecting tunnels, all of which are covered in glyphs and symbols. Using the UAC pattern processor, we have finally been able to understand some of the glyphs, and from them, here is what we have learned. The ancient people looked like us, at least to the extent that they were bipedal and were similar in shape and size. Their level of technology was astounding. For instance, the glyphs at each site were carved into the rock by some sort of machine. 
and each one is precisely cut from the stone. It far exceeds the precision of anything we can do. They had a social structure that seemed very aristocratic, with a lot of emphasis on social stature and structure. Site 2 is a much smaller set of chambers, mostly containing burial sites, temples, and various amounts of individual artifacts. This site has been photographed and cleared out, and all material is back on Earth for study and review. Site 3 produced our prize artifact, what we call the Soul Cube. If you have read or seen the other material, you probably know that this once grand civilization was attacked by some unknown force. And if we can believe what is written in stone, they sacrificed most of their society to drive the invaders back. There are additional reports filed on the Soul Cube with Central Administration. We also recovered several other device-type artifacts. They are not as ornate as the Soul Cube, but each appears unique. We are still learning how to interpret all of the glyphs, and hopefully, once we have that completed, the science teams can provide more detailed information on their technology. Now, these are truly unique and special times for archaeologists. How ironic. Maybe they would have made up just copies, I would imagine. Setting new standards in both archaeological discovery and analysis, the UAC is proud to showcase the latest findings on four unique and fascinating artifacts. These tablets were originally discovered in the dig site under what has become known as Site 3. Subsequent examination of the surrounding area and carbon dating of the tablets brought UAC researchers to the conclusion that the tablets belonged to a civilization that existed millennia ago and were placed in a holy burial ground of some sort. Utilizing the best minds in linguistics and UAC proprietary pattern recognition software, the tablets were exhaustively examined. What we found was fantastic. The first tablet provided us with a wealth of scientific data, specifically detailing the mathematical concepts behind teleportation. UAC researchers used this information as the cornerstone for building the Delta teleportation devices. The second and third tablets illustrate an epic story, a story of war, and how, faced with impossible odds, the ultimate sacrifice of an entire race to achieve victory. The fourth tablet details how the essence of each individual was captured and placed in the artifact we now refer to as the Soul Cube. This device was wielded by their mightiest warrior, and with it he banished the invading horde forever. Our researchers are still analyzing a recently found hidden section of the fourth zone and some related fragments. It goes into detail on the invading force and indicates the remaining survivors may have teleported somewhere. Where we do not know, although it seems to reference a map we have yet to locate. To date, there remains no evidence of any type of invasion at any of the sites. Our assumption is that time has removed all but what we now see.
to shoot at you now. Hunt. Okay, that's pretty darn quick. I guess some of the odds are really on your favor when you have the so cute. I'm sure I want to be pretty darn dead over there. I want to watch your fucking spiders and be hit by these things. The prime excavation site houses the ancient burial chamber. 